Welcome to another Dirty Dane thing. Today we're going to be installing an SSD into an iMac. But before that, I'm going to show you how to make a bootable USB drive, just in case you don't have access to the internet for some reason. So first thing you're going to want to do is open the App Store and type in Catalina. Go to view, click get, and that'll start downloading. Uh, might take a while. After that's done, you'll want to put in a USB drive. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up Disk Utility, which you can find by searching it in Finder or using Spotlight. So you're going to want to name your drive something and format it to a Mac OS Extended. Okay, so after you formatted your USB drive, you'll want to go to Spotlight again, type in Terminal, press Enter. Press enter again, it'll launch terminal. Next, you want to copy and paste the correct code for Catalina, which is in the link I'll provide in the description. Make sure you type in, instead of my volume, you type in the name of your hard drive. That's why you can see all the stuff above that I forgot and I, uh, kept putting in the wrong name. It'll create a bootable OS on your USB drive. So now you can tell it's uh, copying the files or whatever, copying it to disk, I don't know. All right, and you're done. So everything's good there and the next step is backing up your data so next you're going to want to open up system preferences and click on time machine and select your external hard drive I have a 3 terabyte HDD here ready to go so I'm going to click that and back everything up it's super simple so after you are done backing up your files you want to unplug everything flip that sucker over and take off the little lid thing and as you can see this Mac Mini has gotten really hot in the past but somehow it's still working so next you're going to want to take out the RAM those pop out the little side thingies next you're going to want to unscrew the fan from the computer the Mac Mini uses either T6 Torx or T8 Torx screw. So after you do that, you can pop it out and disconnect the little connector there. Next, you're going to want to take off this little black thing, some sort of cover. Eventually, it'll come out. Next, you want to take off the airport antenna, which is the black circular thing on the silver grate. There's a couple hex screws in here, but I think a T8 screwdriver will take it out just fine. So that'll pop right out. And you just have to lift, oh, lift up the little flap and take off the connector. And then next, you're gonna wanna pop out the hard drive, which pretty much just sits in there not really connected to anything except for the uh, the connector that connects it to the computer so you take off the ribbon connector here 
and you're gonna want to take off there's a little these little nub thing metal nub screws I don't know what they're called but uh, just take those off the old one All right, so it's time to put the new hard drive in. I used a, a business card to try to fit this in. As you can see, I was struggling to figure out how it fit in there, because theoretically it should just kind of slide right in. You can see me looking around, flipping it over. Eventually realized it goes in that way. And there's these two little holes that the little nub things are supposed to sit in. And the frustrating part is it it's almost a perfect fit, but there's like a millimeter of overlap on the hard drive's end, so it kind of just sits there on a weird angle, which I'm pretty sure the other one did too now that I think about it, but it just didn't seem right to me at the time, so I kept trying to shove it in without breaking it anything. And uh, eventually I just said, okay, that's good enough, and screwed in the airport antenna back in, put everything else back in the opposite order that you just saw, and uh, everything's good. Uh, so you can see here I installed Catalina. I'm pretty sure it installed from the internet, so I don't think I needed the USB drive, but why not? It's good to, it's good to know and have around. Anyway, thanks for watching.